tell you the crowd. about what is going on. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything, so that was very good to hear that uh, folks are not trying to sugarcoat things, and they really want to know the truth about what is going on. So I'm always glad to hear when folks are willing to tell the truth and want to tell the truth about what is happening. So we're going to find out how that plays out and what goes on with that. That's great. But right now we're going to put on just a little bit more music as we wait for some of our guests to call in. Did. We were going to talk about some of the other things that are going on in the world, too. Uh, three victims, including a police officer, was in a shooting near Chicago Hospital. So that happened earlier today as well. And a lot of us are very much kind of the shooting that's going on in the community and wants things to be done about gun control or more tighter regulation. That is definitely a lot of very much concerned about. And uh, that happened earlier today. It happened right before the shooting. In our world, but uh, that's the way 
way that things have been going lately. Things have just been kind of very difficult. Multiple people, including a police officer, have been injured in a shooting near a Chicago hospital, according to police. Three victims were shot, including the police officer who is in critical condition. Chicago Fire Department spokesman Larry Lankford told ABC News. The shooting suspect is uh, passed away. Lankford said law enforcement swarmed the scene near Mercy Hospital and Medical Center after shots were fired near 26th Street and Michigan Avenue. Anthony Gugliama, chief communication officer for the Chicago Police Department, wrote on Twitter. So uh, that's a way that people are definitely using the uh, ways to let folks know what's going on oftentimes, just like the uh, person that's sitting over there in the White House. A lot of times our folks will use Twitter to let folks know what they've got on their mind. As I mentioned earlier, there was an educator that used Twitter to talk about her views about the way that we teach education and things of that nature. Um, we've got a caller that's calling in, so let me uh, grab the doorbell and then we'll bring them in. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, can Hello? you hear me? Yes. Hello, who is this? Is this Mark or Dean? This is Mark. Hi, Mark. It's Jana Michoni calling. How are you doing, Jana? I'm so glad that you were able to call in onto the show. Um, as I told you before, I'm a big fan of yours. Hey, Mark, I can't hear anything. Can you get closer to the awesome microphone? Yes, can you hear me now? Okay, that's a little Can better. Can you hear me now? <laughs> right. Yeah, a little better. As I was saying, <laughs> all right. As I was saying, uh, I hope that you're doing well. As I, as you know, I've been a big fan of yours since first hearing about your singing career when you were uh, becoming a first celebrity out of North Carolina. But now you're in New York and things of that nature. And of course, your career is definitely taking off. And uh, I just wanted to let our listeners know what's going on with your career right now, and also. Uh, how important you feel the uh, Native American celebrations are that are going on. I know a lot of folks were at the one that was in Raleigh earlier uh, this weekend. I unfortunately was not able to make it, but definitely wanted to hear from you as to how important you feel Native American celebrations are because we actually had a very interesting Twitter storm earlier this evening. A teacher who was part of the uh, diversity community was talking about that she really felt that we should concentrate on some of the um, truthness, truthness that has happened with our community and not just uh, let it be an excuse for people to dress up as cowboys and Indians. So I just wanted to hear some of your views, <laughs> but first I want to hear about your, your music career. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, first of all, thank you so much for um, the opportunity to talk to you and be on your show. It's awesome. Um, and I really appreciate that you're a lifelong fan uh, from the beginning. Um, and I really, you know, I value those people who have stuck by me and, and really supported, you know, me as a musician, uh, also the Native American musician, because as you know, that is a unique thing, and and it, for a lot of people, it's something different. Um, but yeah, it's really kind of cool to talk for Native American Heritage Month. I actually was at the celebration in Raleigh last year. I performed at that last year. Uh, didn't didn't get a chance to do it this year, but um, it's a really great coming together of different different tribes from not just around North Carolina but all across the country. And it's and it is a celebration and I, I do feel that you know we do need to have truth. We need to have, you know, the history books need to be rewritten. Uh we need to put out what the reality of what it really happened and that um, you know, my family we don't celebrate and a lot of a lot of natives, I'm sure, I'm not sure with you, but we don't celebrate in the way that people think we should be celebrating. I and mean, it's not about giving thanks as far as our history, what happened here. It's actually a, a horrendous and horrific history that uh, is, is something we don't really want to have to relive every year. So um, with my family, we, we kind of come together and try to celebrate um, ourselves and our, our people and uplift ourselves and, and not have to recognize but it is something every year that was just an, a, something that we have to you know we're forced to have to recognize every year but um, I do believe in the truth about really putting out there even if it's the harsh truth about what really happened and you know, our country was founded you know a lot by criminals the criminals and they were um, a lot of the uh, lower rungs of society that moved, you know, that came over here and um, did a lot of bad things, a lot of bad things. And 
people want to sugarcoat it and say, well, we brought this and we made Native civilized. And, you know, all that is relative. What, a, what is civilization? What is civilized? That's relative. We made things better. Technology is better. We brought you this. You know, a lot of people like the old ways. They liked, you know, being the technology or bringing, you know, uh, the religion and things like that. That's not necessarily a good thing for people, you know. Um, so there's a lot of, a lot of good yeah, and bad and it's with, actually, it's, with, this, with this holiday. Yeah, it's interesting you bring mm-hmm. that up. Yeah, it's interesting you bring that up because a lot of people actually um, have gone back to more of the traditional ways of living, whether it's uh, getting involved in uh, – Native American uh, religious practice or Native American cultures or whether it's getting involved exactly. in African cultures. A lot of folks are actually getting more grounded in what I believe uh, a lot of the people of the world have been about, which is about being connected I to nature that. and being connected yes. to the world and being connected that's, with all of that. Exactly and that seems to be more of a because trend what, of what we're what going is, into. Right. A, a lot of it is I, you know, the good and bad of what's considered, you know, progress. Well, for some people, progress is not a new iPhone or not, you know, the, the next, you know, best greatest thing or the new whatever smart gadget. Sometimes, you know, things that are organic, you know, of the earth, you know, like organic foods, like that's what is supposed to be natural. We should have, you know, things that are not filled with pesticides and filled with all these additives that are in our foods. Like going back to what's natural, what's good for us, and what's healthy, you know. Those are things, what's a simpler type of life, you know, people are stressed out and dying because we're all trying to keep up with the civilized world and everything else, but is it really good for us, you know, is it really healthy for, you know, us, people, especially with Native people, it's very conflicting, you know. So, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's an interesting, interesting topic, it really is. Yeah, definitely. Hello? It's a very interesting topic. And a lot, I said it's definitely a very interesting topic, and a lot of people are very much uh, trying to understand the modern society. And actually, even some of the things that people are proud of, I actually would even argue that some of those things were invited to by people that were of Native heritage. I mean, people always talk about, like, the clock and the calendars and things of that nature being of um, European uh, nation, but they forget sometimes about the Mayan calendar and the Aztec calendar the and these things that were invented yep. thousands, of years, thousands of years ago. Right, right. And the solstice and how the sun, I mean, all of that is, you know, just, just modern plumbing, you know, things like that. You know, people say, well, you know, the European, like, Europeans didn't invent everything. <laughs> I mean, right. there are other, there are other, you know, there's other people in this in this world that, you know, it's it's what everyone's contributed, what people consider, oh, this is better. You know, again, better is relative. You know, some people like a simpler life, and there's people that quote, now it's going off the grid. You know, off the grid is what how our people used to live. That's how we lived, off the grid. That was our way of life, and we thrived for thousands and thousands of years. You know, before quote, we were considered, you know, civilized. So, I mean, yeah, exa- and all of it is exactly. relative, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah you have to, you're absolutely right about that. Um, and just uh, I was wondering, as far as the music goes, because I know a lot of times, like you mentioned earlier, um, I know that there is the uh, Native American Awards that definitely recognize a lot of the creation from the Native American community and things of that nature. But just in terms of being recognized, yeah by the uh, mainstream. How is that going? Because I know, like you said, it's new music, and just like blues, it's sometimes a very difficult music to get to uh, play on commercial stations or even commercial venues. I imagine the same is yes. true for the music that you are creating. It is. It is. It's been a learning curve. I've been doing this for 15 years, you know, more than 15 years, and it's still a learning curve, you know. Um, but people today are uh, much more open um to discovering new things. People are, you know, the industry, the music industry is very, very, they want to put you in a box. They want to say, well, here you have to do this, this. But people, the the fans, people who love music, they want to hear different things. And so, you know, it's been harder 